Dancing Ghosts. I am going to help you through this project set up today and then you are going to have all sorts of fun making your ghosts dance. Now we are going to be taking some tissue paper and a balloon and we are going to explore static electricity. Ha! Huh. What is static electricity? That is the question that we are going to answer in today's project. Now, you should have received supplies in the take and make bag that you picked up here at the library. And caregivers, you're also going to want to grab a pair of scissors, and that's gonna help us cut our ghosts out of some tissue paper. And just so everybody is prepared, caregivers, you are gonna be helping a lot throughout the project setup, getting our ghosts ready and our balloon ready. And then once the project is set up, your little one can take it from there and do all of the rest of the project on their own. All right, are you guys ready to get started? Let's get to it. Okay, so what you see here on the table is what you received in your take and make bag from the library. You should have two sheets of white tissue paper and three orange balloons along with one black marker. Now we gave you all sorts of extra supplies for this project, so for right now, we're gonna go ahead and take one sheet of our tissue paper, our black marker, and then a pair of scissors. So that's what we're gonna start with. So go ahead and get those supplies out and ready and we'll go through the step-by-step -step project setup together. Okay, so Littles, I would like you to help with the first part of the project. So you're gonna take one of your sheets of tissue paper and I want you to unfold it, just like what I'm doing here. So you're gonna to wanna to lay it nice and flat. Now, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take that black marker and we are gonna draw our first ghost, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna start with his head and you can draw your ghost to be whatever you want, okay? So here we go. And one thing that you wanna keep in mind is the size of your ghost. So right now, if you look, my ghost is about as tall as my marker when I lay it down. So you don't really wanna go much bigger than that to start out with. You can experiment later on and try some different things, but for your first one, I want you to keep it about as tall as your black marker. So once you've drawn the outline, what you can do is you can also add some eyes and a mouth. You can design your ghost however you want. You could add polka dots, you could add stripes, you can, like I said, design them any way you want, all right? And then, once you are done with that step, caregivers, I would like you to help your little one cut their ghost out. So here we go. We are simply gonna just cut that outline out. And just keep in mind that just like with any science experiment, if something doesn't work the first time, you're gonna wanna try something different and try it again and again. So we're gonna just, like I said, start with this size ghost, and if we can't get him to dance for whatever reason, we can try a smaller one, we could try a bigger one just for fun. So there are a lot of different things that we can try today to get our ghost dancing. Okay, so here we go. I've got my ghost cut out. And for now, I'm gonna set aside the rest of my supplies. And I am now going to grab one of the orange balloons. 
And caregivers, what I would like you to do is go ahead and blow up that balloon for your little one and then tie it off, okay? So here we go. So that's about as big as I want my balloon today. And then I'm just gonna work to tie it off. Okay, so we have our balloon and we have our ghost. So the main parts of our experiment are ready to be used. Now, so now that we have the two main pieces of our experiment ready to go, what we're gonna do is we are going to talk a little bit about static electricity because that is what is going to make our experiment work. Without it, this would not we would not be able to get our ghosts dancing in a minute here. So what it is, is all things on our planet are made up of something called an atom. And inside an atom, there is something called an electron. And those electrons are negatively charged. And what happens is that you can steal electrons from objects. So for instance, what we're gonna do in a minute is we're gonna take our balloon and we're gonna rub it on either carpet or our hair or some clothing. And what we're doing when we're doing that rubbing on our hair or the carpet is we are stealing electrons from the carpet and we're putting them onto our balloon. And then what happens is our balloon is all sorts of charged up, as they say. And then our little ghost here doesn't have any charge. And what happens is, is that things that are oppositely charged attract or want to be close to one another. So we have a charged balloon and a not charged ghost. So when we try to touch them, what's gonna happen is our ghost is want, gonna wanna stick to our balloon and that is what is gonna make our ghost dance. So again, when we rub our balloon, either on our hair or a, you know, the carpet or even a piece of furniture that's cloth, it's gonna steal those electrons and build them up on our balloon. And then we have something called static electricity that is going to attract our charged up balloon to our ghost and make him dance. So, should we give it a try? Okay, what I'm gonna ask you to do, Littles, is I want you to either rub your balloon on your head, your hair, or on the carpet. And as you work through your experiment, you might wanna try a few different things to get your balloon charged up. So, here we go. I am gonna go ahead and rub my balloon on my head. And you might feel a little silly doing this, but I think it's fun because this is going to help us make our ghosts dance. Now, the thing is, is that every time you want to try to get your ghost to dance today, you are going to have to recharge your balloon. So you're going to have to do this every time you go to try to make your ghost dance, okay? All right, I think I've got enough of a charge on my balloon, hopefully. So now we're going to try to get our ghosts to dance. So I've got my balloon that's nice and charged up and here's my tissue paper ghost and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of hold up my ghost a little bit and we're gonna hold the balloon over him and we're gonna see if we can get him to dance. Did you see him? He stood up there and he danced a little bit. So I might have to charge my balloon a little bit more. So I'm gonna try it on the carpet this time. Okay, here we go. Thank you all so much for joining me for today's Virtual STEM Club Littles Edition Dancing Ghosts. Now, I hope you had all sorts of fun creating your little tissue paper ghosts 
and got them to dance successfully. I would love to see any videos or pictures of you completing today's project. You can send those to the email address on the screen below. If you have any questions for me, feel free to reach out. Um, and I hope you are now able to answer the question, what is static electricity? All right, until next time, thanks for joining me. Bye.